Okay, so I am going to walk you through how I do my makeup using my favorite One Compact makeup. So this is a customized makeup palette where all of my makeup fits into this single compact. So here on the top layer, there is foundation, lip and cheek, contour, bronzer, illuminator, concealer. On this second layer, I've got more blushes and lip colors. I've also got some color correcting shades. And then down here, I've got some eyeshadows and some powder. So literally this is my entire face of makeup in this single compact. So how this palette works is you get this tin of makeup and you just slide the lid off, take the tin out, and then this tin magnetizes to the compact. And this allows you to completely customize the colors in your compact to your liking and to your skin tone. So that way you end up with the perfect shades. Now, as an artist with this company, I can actually help color match you to your perfect shades. So I will go ahead and include a link, fill it out, and I will help you know exactly what colors you need to get started with. Now, to get started, I'm gonna start with these three colors right here. These are called highlight colors, and these are sort of like your traditional foundation and concealer. So I'm gonna start with the darkest of the highlight colors, and I'm going to place this color in all the areas where I have the deepest pigmentation. So redness, dark spots, any sort of discoloration. And yes, you can already see the discrepancy between my face and my neck, and it's because my neck is a lot lighter than my face, and that will be dealt with in just a little bit. Now I'm gonna dip into a second highlight shade. This one's the one that's kind of the middle color between the three, and I'm just going to fill in the gaps where I did not place that darker color correcting shade where my skin is a little bit lighter. Now I have some darker under eyes that need to be addressed, and this is where a lot of people would go in with their lightest highlight shade, their brightener, and use it like a concealer, but I'm actually not going to do that. I'm actually going to start by using this line right here. It's called Demi Color and I'm actually going to use this first to do some color correction before I do any sort of brightening. So I am just gonna start by going in with a very light amount of some of these color correcting shades to brighten up this area and remove any of the darkness that is currently there. And you can already see a huge difference in what happens when you do color correction first and don't just try to conceal it with something that's lighter and brighter. And then using those same color correcting shades, I also like to go in right here where I have some melasma spots and do some color correction there as well. So now that I've taken care of all the color correction that I need to do, now I'm gonna go into that lighter, brighter highlight color and I'm just gonna pop it into the very inner corner of my eye. I don't need a lot of it. And then I'm also gonna do the very same thing right here on the very outer corner. I'm also gonna pop a little bit on the center of my chin, a little bit here above my cupid's bow, and then I like to take a little bit on the tip of my finger and run up and down the center of my nose. And then I just take my damp perfector sponge just to press in the product and pick up any excess. So now I'm gonna go in with this darker shade right here. This is my contour shade. So I'm gonna place this color right here right underneath my cheekbone. I'm also gonna pull it right along my jawline. And then I'm also going to stamp it right along the side of my nose, alongside where I put that brightening highlight shade. And for people who don't have bangs like me, you would also place it along your hairline on your forehead. And now I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. Now down here, I've got what I refer to as my JLo Glow Concoction. So it's Bella Bronzer, glow illuminator and rose gold illuminator. And I just swirl my brush around all three and use that as my bronzer. So with bronzer, you just wanna place it on the high points of your face. A lot of people do almost like a letter C along the side of their eye. You can also put a little bit on your chin and even a little bit on the tip of your nose. And then this is where I like to address the disconnect between my face and my neck. And I just pull some of that bronzer down my neck to help tie it in with the rest of my face. And then now I'm just gonna go in with my lip and cheek color. This can be used as both a blush and a lip color and just add a little flush of color to my cheeks. And then I have just applied some color to my lips as well. And then I'm just gonna finish off with a touch of illuminator right on the high points of my face, a little bit down the center of my nose, just to kind of polish off the look. And then this right here, 
is the finished look. Now, I had already done my eyes before I started this tutorial, but every single thing that I used today came from this single one compact makeup, and that is what I absolutely love about this product line. Now, if you are interested in getting started with your own one compact makeup, I would love to help color match you to help customize the shades to your skin tone and help you know exactly what things you need to get started with. So I will go ahead, I'm gonna include a link to my color match form. All you need to do is submit a selfie of yourself without any makeup on in natural lighting, and then I can help customize a palette just for you. Now, if you are wanting to skip the color match, there are actually some pre-built collections that have different levels that are suited to different skin tones. So I'm gonna include a link for those as well. You can look through those and select the one that you think is best suited to your skin tone, and those collections will have everything that you need to get started. And then if you are interested in the business side of what I do, I'm also gonna go ahead and include a link that talks more about the artist program. And then if you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out and ask because I'm always happy to answer them. And if you decide that this is something that you would like to be a part of, I would absolutely love to be able to mentor you here in Saint.